I actually sat with the uh, Consul General uh, from Mexico right after he was taken. I gave him a stack of papers on, on your son. I said, this is going to grow into something really bad for both our countries. If you continue to hold uh, our hero, I would hope this committee in future uh, hearings reconsiders the amount of money we are sending down there. I don't think we should keep investing in friends. If we have friends like this, we really don't need enemies. But I'm really frustrated because I see the lack of compassion on their side, and I see compassion on our side, and we just want balance. There are some other people that haven't uh, been announced that have come up on the Hill on your behalf. Uh, William Chatfield, who is a, a Marine, came up here and lobbied, and I don't want to use the word lobby, but spoke on your son's behalf. Larry Ward, Ward from uh, Special Operations Speaks has been up here. Bush, uh, Sam Bushman, who is a great guy, he has been up here uh, with his organization. In my office, Prentice LeBlanc, who is a Marine, uh, has been pushing uh, very hard, and Anna Marie uh, Hoffman, who has been pushing. It feels like we are pushing against Jell-O sometimes. Every time we push uh, Congressman Ted Poe's thing, we thought that is going to be the answer, and it, it seems to fall on deaf ears. We talk to the President's people, it falls on deaf ears. This hearing seems to be falling on deaf ears. We have nobody from the State Department here. We have nobody here that should be here. I mean, you are here, that is great, but there should be other people here that can pull strings that should be in this hearing, hearing this powerful testimony, and they are not here. That is disappointing to me personally, because I think in the long run, this will do damage to Congress, too, that we haven't taken up. And it will do damage, I think, to the institution of the presidency. The silence is deafening. These, these, these are our heroes from every standpoint, and we continue to be silent, and it is very disturbing. I would just ask, uh, is there any more we can do to, uh, besides calling the president, but is there anything we can do outside of what we are doing right now that would move the process forward? Simply, I would like to see more than 81 signatures on the um, House Resolution 620. So if you could reach out to all your, um, your colleagues, because I believe Mexico would find that profoundly um, intimidating, maybe, if there was more than 81 signatures on that House Resolution 620. And thank you so much for coming in out of session to hear about Andrew's fight for freedom and, and, and the plight of our, our veterans in America. Thank you.